This is five on your side at four. Focused on you. Here is a live look outside. Here we go. After days of storms in the by state, more storms are expected to make their way to our area over the weekend. Good afternoon. I'm Kelly Jackson and in for Kay Quinn. That's right. In for <laughs> Kay. I'm Brent Solomon. We can't seem to catch a break from this stormy weather. Right now, Chief Meteorologist Scott Connell is live at the Washington Town and County Fair. We're going to check in with him in just a bit. But first, let's check in with Gary Frank. He has a first look at your weather first forecast for the weekend. Gary. Yeah, staying pretty quiet right now. Looking forward to seeing what Scotty is up to at the fair right now, but I want to keep you posted on what's going on right now. We're dealing with a few showers and storms uh, to some degree. A couple of light showers are not going to impact your or Scott's plans or your plans this evening. So over the next couple of hours, I want to keep you posted about what's going on because I think in general, we're going to continue to stay relatively dry, but with a few breaks in the clouds, there is going to be some gloom here and there, and that's really the only thing that we're looking forward to. Otherwise, as we continue to monitor a couple of light sprinkles or showers. It is pretty quiet here and that's the big story for us off and on over the next couple of hours or what we deal with uh, a few of these showers and storms because as we continue to monitor a couple of sprinkles from Herman to Bowling Green and Scott's in Washington. So that's where I want to zoom in and show you what's going on here uh, over the next couple of hours here as we look at most of this rain off and on and and that's going to be a big story for us here for the next a uh, couple of what where, where do we deal with this light rain and storms and uh, what's going on here over the next several hours? There are some light to moderate rain showers here and there as we look from Omaha to Kansas City and really as we look downtown, that's the quiet part. So over the next couple of hours, expect cooler conditions, but more storms on the way as we keep in mind uh, a few more chances for severe weather ahead. And that's what we'll track for you here as Scott checks in with another slight risk for severe weather and maybe a better chance for the second half of the weekend. All right, Gary, thank you. Well, it is a good time to go ahead and start your back to school shopping. That's because today is the first day of tax free weekend in Missouri. And five on your size, Tracy Henson has the savings you can take home this weekend. Okay, Brent, think big picture. The tax holiday extends beyond pens and pencils. It can save you big time on things like laptops and clothes. West County Mall was bustling today as back to school shoppers got a jump start on the tax free weekend. Unlike past years, when you had to make sure you were shopping in cities and counties that observed the tax holiday, thanks to a recent Missouri Senate bill, Senate bill, all local sales tax will be exempt on qualified items. This means when you shop the racks, the price you see on the tag is the price you pay. So you'll be able to come in and if something's 75 bucks, it's going to be 75 bucks. So it represents about 10%. Uh, 10% savings because on a normal weekend you'd have to pay tax on that $75, which means most area taxes add up to around 10%. Thank you, Tracy. Downtown St. Louis also has a back to school event this weekend. The Urban League and St. Louis Public Schools are hosting an expo to get you ready for the school year. Parents and kids can head to the Dome and America Center starting at 10 a.m. tomorrow for the expo. Kids will receive free back to school supplies, haircuts, health screenings and vaccinations. And parents can also learn and register their child for school at the expo. Organizers say this event is providing access to people who are underserved. We've got a lot of people with a lot of different challenges in their lives every day. And for some folks, getting their kids to school on that first day is difficult. So what we're doing and what the Urban League is doing is creating a space that breaks down a bunch of those barriers. As part of today's event, the Urban League also hosted a career fair. More than 70 employers were there recruiting. And for everything you need to know about back to school season, just text the word school to 314-425-5355. All right, well, are you someone who actually saves your receipts? If you live in Missouri, you may be in luck. The state is refunding the gas tax for the period between July 1st of 2022 and June 30th of 2023. The gas tax increase law includes a five cent refund for every gallon of gas if you fill out a form. MoDOT is one state department benefiting greatly from the fuel tax. It gets mixed in with the rest of the money that we get um, through the other fuel tax, the motor vehicle sales tax, license reg registration fees, the federal um, fuel tax revenues that come to Missouri. All that gets put together into our overall construction program. Um, so it's, it's just it makes more funds available to address all the needs around the state. 
So you can find out more by looking for this story on the As Seen on TV section of KSDK.com. The deadline is October 2nd. A teenager is in custody for the murder of a South St. Louis woman. A 15-year-old boy is charged with first-degree murder and the death of Harriet Childers. About a year ago, Childers was found dead while she was working as a part-time Uber driver. She was a full-time nurse who drove Uber part-time. Police have not shared any information about a motive. Well, signs were removed today from a historic building in Dutchtown. South City Hospital recently announced it is closing. The official closing date is not known, but patients are already being transferred and no new patients are being admitted there. Following your size, Justina Cornell looks at the impact of the closure. That's tonight at 5 and 6. The families of four teenagers in St. Charles County are relieved today. Last night, four boys were on a late night hike on the Katy Trail when they got stuck on a cliff. They had to call to help, which led to a search that started at 7 last night. Fire crews were able to bring them to safety about four hours later. No one was hurt. And right now, two state parks are closed. The campsites at St. Francis State Park and Merrimack State Park will be closed all weekend because of heavy rain we saw this week. Park officials say they made the call after the big river near Bon Terre flooded. And with more weather in the forecast, they're staying cautious. St. Francis campsites are expected to reopen Monday, but the Merrimack site closed indefinitely. All right, check this out. An appreciation event today by the Urban League. The Grill to Glory initiative partners with area church leaders for cookouts. And today's event was a celebration of that program success. Grill to Glory happens every week at 250 churches throughout our area. And the goal is to create safe communities. And pastors say it really is making a difference. It has been a blessing to our church, has been a blessing to our community. So many people have uh, come to our church, not only uh, for uh, the Grill to Glory experience or initiative, um, through that we have um, uh, birthed uh, other ministries. And there was some good music there, too, to celebrate the success of Grill to Glory. Gospel recording artist Fred Hammond performed for the group. A former president indicted on federal charges in the midst of a primary campaign. How voters are reacting.